couple minutes for some people to come in. It is early Friday morning. Good morning, Tony. Kelfs. Good morning, Marine X. Azen Sama. Hello. I try to do that the best. My name, my name is in your name. Azen Sama. Good morning, one. Good morning, all. Good morning, Petey. Pecker Pepper. Good morning, Kat K and Susan. Good morning, Lucky Star. Good morning. Good morning, Dangerous Dong and Earl and Melody. Good morning to you, Melody. I turned on notifications for your stream that so I didn't miss it. Thank you very much, Azen. I hope I'm saying that right. Azian. Hope I'm saying it right. How did Pops do with that Kong laughing out loud? I lost only 40, but still. In the end, Pops was like a break even. That's only because the $1,000 major that he hit, they were credits left in the machine. Remember I told him, don't cash it out. Use it to play since they didn't have the money. So that's what happens to you. When a place doesn't have the money to pay and you got to hang out a, an hour more than you would have because you do put that back. Come on now. That was a profit. The stream would have been an hour earlier. He would have been paid out. He probably would have landed 800, 900, or 1,000 in the profit zone. And I would have probably lost 500 hours less. But it is what it is, you know. But, you know, places, that place... It's weird because that's the first time I've known that place. I don't go hanging in there all the time, so I really don't know. But from talking to other people, they usually do get paid out. It might have been because we were there early. Whatever. But no, when they do it, when they give you that, oh, hang around an extra hour or two and you're going to keep playing, chances are you're going to lose whatever you're up. I mean, that's, you know, I kind of know that, but pops don't give a shit. Pops don't even care about it. I probably care more than him, but. What are you going to do? Good morning, Scott Johnson, Monica McDaniel. Good morning to everybody. Hey, lucky oh, lucky O. Oh, early to rise. Sunshine. What's going on? Good early Friday morning, everybody. It's happy Halloween. Almost, almost. Today is October 14th. We're here halfway there. And I figure, let's play some scary games. Since, uh... I don't think there's much going on. I mean, we are over $1,000 on candy corns here, and I do have $100 in the machine. We're going to just get on right down to it. I like that name, Dangerous Dong. <laughs> All right. Let's take some spins on Graveyard Gold over here. Someone left that on there, obviously, so we got a dollar back from the get-go. Max bets on Graveyard Gold, $1,019 candy corns. It's not tremendously high, but higher than most around in this, in this Aquarius diner on an early Friday morning. Let's not forget that Mr. Jeff Farron is going to be on the Lotto King tonight. What did he call it? The After Dark interview? Something like that. Hey, Jay girl. What's going on? Good morning. Kels, if I didn't say good morning, I'm going to say it again. Sister, good morning. 
we got a bonus round, guys. $39 in, and we got a bonus round. And yes, on a Friday morning, half asleep, guess what? It's on a max bet. I'll take 12 spins. Yeah. My wife, Denise Tribbiani, is in the chat. Hello, Denise. $39 in, and we're on a max bet. Bonus spins on Graveyard. We are playing scary games. Ooh. Good morning to Robert. We got a three trigger, ladies and gentlemen, for a seven piece. Forty-four dollars in the bank. Good morning to Mr. Scott Johnson as we get another six piece free trigger for Scott. <laughs> Good morning to David Bucci. Let's try and get a re-trigger for every new person coming into the chat. Come on now. <laughs> I wish. $66 bonus round. Come on now, in the last five spins. Six spins, six spins to go. Come on now, in the last two spins, show us a re-trigger, yeah, that's an eight-piece, guys, eight-piece re-trigger, yeah, that re-trigger is for David B, this trigger right there is for Jess, that re-trigger is for Jess, I want to re-trigger for everybody coming in. Closing in on $100 bonus round to start. $122. Come on now. In the last seven spins. Lucky O wants a re-trigger. That's right, Jay girl. Yeah, the money in the hand. Three spins to go. Let's finish it up. That's right, Denise, the Phillies going at it tonight. Last two spins, 136 in the bank on the last spin. Finish it up strong, let's see it. I'll take it, guys, over $140 bonus round. Not a bad start. Yeah, nice little mini boom there for $144, only $39 in. Lands us over $105 in the profit zone. Luffy says, I'm still in the graveyard. Hey, Scott Clark, good morning to Scott Clark. A Halloween special, love it. Yes, early Friday morning, scary game. And thirty nine dollars in, we did hit Scott, a hundred and forty four dollar bonus round with a little bit of re triggers for just about every new person that was coming in. 
34 people in the chat. 26 thumbs up. Thank you very much. Almost even, Stephen. Good job, guys. Anybody that forgot, back on out. Smash that like button. Show your love and support for the channel. Let's try some backup spins here. Candy corns are at $1,020. Double up on the bottom row. Good morning, Chris Welsh. Thanks for the good luck. I appreciate it. $20 hit on the top row. We are at, oh, by the way, that's right, like you didn't know, we are at the Aquarius Diner, and we are on Machine Zero. Yes, Machine Three is officially retired. And guys, if I didn't remember telling you guys last Wednesday, when I hit those potions, the guy that works here, his name is Ice, he hit diamonds the day before. Yes. He hit diamonds on $1.20 for $1,200 on that same machine that paid out 24 hours later, me potions. Hmm, maybe I should have came in here on that Tuesday. All right, let's take a peek. We're gonna back on out of Graveyard Gold. Let's take a peek at, we were already right the first time, House of Voodoo. Guys, let's try a couple four-dollar max bets on House of Voodoo. See if Doodoo has anything for us today. Fortunately, the mm, I'm not liking where those uh, pin dolls are. Yes, and we are backing right on out of doo doo. I don't like the $167 pin dolls. No, I don't. I didn't check Reapers on this machine. Hey, good morning, Brenda. Good morning to Brenda. How you doing? J-Girl says, I love House of Voodoo. I love it, too, when it's hitting. Someone left us those bastard bats. And look at that, a double up on 40 cents. Ooh. Very good, Matt. Take it easy, Matt. That's right. You did a good job, too. What do you say? Hey, Matt. 80 cent bastard bats. Hey, listen, you aim to please. Yeah, right. That's good. That's right. Dollar 60 bastard bats. Wonder where them potions are for us here, guys. Looks like about five or six hundred. Bye. $572 potions, not too good. 
Oh man, it would have been nice for a Reaper there. What did I hit on this machine, Kels? Remind me. There is a lot I hit on this machine. Uh, we got money bags on this machine. I got diamonds on this machine. I got max payout on living large on this machine. Build a 1X car on this machine. Candy corn was on this machine. And there's several other candy corns on the other ones. I don't remember what else I hit over here. Potions, no, that was machine three. They're all the way down to four something. They're reset back from Wednesday. I don't think I ever got potions on this machine. Ever, I don't think. Jess says, Sammy, if no one got the wolves, they are high on this machine. This is machine zero. I think you mean machine two. Let's check it out, Jeff. Beast, is that a scary game, Beasts? I guess it is, right? Hmm. Let's take a peek anyway over here on beasts. I think the wolves are higher on. That's, I'm, that's, that's a good one there. You're right. The wolves, I think the wolves were on machine three where the potions hit too. There was quite a few ones over there, but uh, I'm afraid of machine three. The $703 beast. Good morning. Let's take a peek. Good old machine three. A lot of money coming out of this machine in the last week. Meaning I stay away. It's time for it to take. 788 wolves. We know that that machine, I hit the wolves for nearly 1,200. Now in the last few days guys diamonds and potions came out of machine three but we're going to try some beasts 703 wolves i've seen them hit several times in the 600s it's all good kels bye-bye robert have a good day at work robert thanks for stopping by today is not going to be a long one and i know i say it all the time but when rich comes we're going to go all right let's try some spins on beasts How about that crappy slot machine game between Happy Lantern and the Pearl game? Not getting six balls one time. Couple, couple decent mermaid bonuses or dolphin bonuses, but dang, that's why I don't go to casino and play them games. Yeah, they're fun. You, you, they make it fun to lose. That's what they do. And then when you don't get paid out, when, when you want to get paid out, it makes it even harder to win. Ah, be showing us some crappy crows. Good morning, Beth. If I forgot to say hi, hello and good morning. Thank you to all 47 people tuned in right now. Money back. We started out with a nice little bonus round. Maybe the scary games are scared. We got a bat bonus on a max bet. Come on now, toe for some big bats. Hello. Since Petey's not picking out peppers, we're going to let him hit bats. Come on, Pete. Oh, he's not going to be able to hit him. His fur is just not good enough. Come on. We got good bats, guys. $100. Let me hear you. That is a good one, Dance. That is a good name, too. Dance. 
Are you ever going to do the stacking game? I don't know. Am I ever going to have six to eight hours to do a live stream? Am I ever going to be able to hook up and get a battery done, right, to last that long? Am I going to have six? To, did I bite off more than I can chew when I thought about all that? Oh, hell yeah. Um, hmm. Now, I, I, if it's going to go down, it's got to go down in sessions. It's got to be one page one day and another page another day. And that's two days of a lot of time. And then these week right now, this week and next week, it's a time I don't have with the preparation of the building going for sale. But don't let me forget about it because I want to do it. It'll be fun as hell, too. And it can turn out to be a nice profit, too. That's another thing. It can be a very good profit. <laughs> or a very good loss. Come on, bonus spins. Oh, we got boars with that. My bad. You know, I didn't see them boars. A little $22 action. Instant princess. Good morning. Kels calling for them eagles. Yes, it would be nice to land nearly a $2,500 smashing eagles. Instant Princess saying, hey, Skill and Jess. I like that, Skill and Jess. She was skilling when she nailed that nice big bat bonus. Was that a little over a week ago? That was nice. What was that? If you're here still, Jess, was that 600? 660? Damn, that's a good bat bonus. I'd like to see one half that good. Sometimes I see people playing on this machine zero on beast and sometimes they're doing very well. But I see them doing well on low bets. Hmm. I don't see too many people playing beasts on this machine on $4 bets. Scott Clark. My daughter has asked me if Sammy will give her an autograph when you all come in. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? She tells all her classmates her daddy knows some of Oh, come on now, Scott. <laughs> I appreciate that. Absolutely. It's funny, though, Scott. And Denise will tell you. Denise, you want to tell the story? If you're still in the chat, did she run out already? Denise is here. Denise, I'll let you tell the story about the shirt for Mr. Patrick. Patrick Goulahan, I believe his name was, in Trevortown, PA. One, what he wanted us to do with a Sammy Bull 7 YouTube shirt for his office. Go ahead, Denise. As we try to get another bonus round. like Denise is half asleep having trouble uh, spelling. Yeah, that's right. What she's saying is it was hard. He wanted us to both sign the shirt for his office to hang it up in his office. <laughs> and come on, like, I went, like I've signed shirts for someone before. <laughs> so I, I tried to go ahead and just sign it, but it, it still worked. But I made a good recovery, put it that way. Not easy on a silver Sharpie signing a 50-50 shirt. 50-50 cotton and polyester shirt. It was a challenge. Like, it's going to be a challenge to get this big bat bonus. Come on now. 
looking for some big bats. Denise's came out better than mine. I, I, I struggled on my S. Yes, I did. Here we go. $48. Could have been a lot more worse, but it could have been so much more better. Come on now. Chris Barnes, have a good day. Oh, Denise is leaving. Is that what it is? Dude? Denise getting ready to wake up, getting ready to wake up Gianna. See you later, Denise. So, Scott, we will be more than happy to do something beautiful for you. Absolutely. Well, the good part is this, guys. 26 minutes in and we're still on the first 100. Hmm, that's the good part. The bad part is it's not showing off. Come on, Tigers. Be nice to see a little Tiger action. That's another thing I never had. The max payout. It's, uh, I'm sure we got that right. LNR help. Oh, yeah. You see it. Bonus spin. Well, I never had the bats either, but bonus spins. What's that? That's going to bring us five bears and five Tigers. $1,200. Would absolutely love that. Good morning to Bonanza. What's going on, Bonanza? Good, happy Friday early morning to you. As we got nearly a half hour out of our first hundred. PD, we got to give PD a shot. We're playing scary games today. Getting ready for the big Halloween. And I got some hot chocolate. It's not too hot. I mean, not too cold out there, but it's been sitting here for a half hour because it's been hot as hell. Oh, and it's still hot, but at least it's drinkable now. 28 minutes ago, I couldn't drink it. Thank you to all 52 people for coming in right now on this early Friday morning when you're going to be doing 100 million different things. Yeah. All right, let's try our luck out on this second hunter. Should we change the game? Hmm. back and try a couple more spins on graveyard maybe two dollar spins we'll see hey there he is good morning slinger thank you slinger and good morning tony saying just 6k lady p in my area hmm six thousand dollars that's it. i wish i had something i wish i had any kind of a chase in my area you don't even have a six thousand dollar chase there was with the diamonds next door, but someone got them on two bucks. Let's try to try a couple spins here on two dollars. Speaking of two dollars, graveyard gold on two dollars. Maybe the candy corn will show up here. more spins on max hey Austin's in the chat and speaking of Austin there you go look good luck from the start 
How'd yesterday go, buddy? How you feeling, Austin? Good morning to James. Oh no, come on, I'll take, give us a pumpkin. I'll take 12 spins. Let's get 12 good spins here for Austin. Come on now. See if we can get a couple re-triggers like we had on the first bonus round. I'm doing good today. They didn't do anything yesterday. Big testing day is today. I got gotcha. you. Well, another good luck day for Austin. Wish you out prayers, my man, my brother. Yes. Prayers. Hope it's a nice, easy, smooth day. No stress and no pain. I could have swore I peeped some Chucky dolls that pa that just passed on by us. I think I saw them. How about a re-trigger? Not bad. Two spins to go. Little seventy-six dollar holla. Thank you, Kathy. Absolutely. You are in our prayers, Austin. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that, Kathy. Oh, let's see. Oh, the gross ghosts. There they go. So we got to double up. Calm down, Petey. You'll have your moment. <laughs> Migos ain't really a scary game, Petey, but mm, he's not really scary either. He looks kind of happy. A lot of people like Petey. My man Chuck took a screenshot of him off my machine yesterday and was sending it around on Messenger. Petey was actually getting very, very popular yesterday. Oh, how crazy was that session yesterday? I felt like I felt like a professional photographer and moderator. Man, it was fun. That's got to be the funnest. Day. That's got to be the funnest day I ever had losing money. <laughs> That's got to be the funnest day I ever had losing money. Seriously, though. That's right, Scott. Double A's, tough as shit. $20 holla. So much. Good morning. So much blood work today. Ugh. I remember. Uh, let me see how I was young. I might have been 12 years old, 12 or 13, and I was getting bad pains in my side around the liver. Wasn't sure what it was. So I remember going for testing, and there was blood testing and had to be done and they also had to shoot the dye in you and it came out you know at 12 years old they come out with these two big syringes with the dye in there it tastes like that seafood copper pennies and all that and i remember just going through that which wasn't a life-threatening situation but being scared as shit though so guess what austin i feel you in more ways than a million actually i don't think i can even step in your shoes my man I commend you, brother, and you are definitely in our prayers. All right. Good morning, Kelly and Kurt. Thanks for coming in, guys. We got 57 people watching with 43 thumbs up. Thank you very much playing a little bit of scary games yes we are they're not too scary right now though 
couple bonus rounds here and there. Going after some candy corn, it would be nice if the corn showed up and showed face. Thank you, Kels. Get them thumbs up. I appreciate it. Looks like a lot of people did hit them thumbs up. 46 out of the 57 watching. Pretty damn good. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't believe it. How about Pops throwing away $240 planes on Kong? Oh, my goodness. The one time it paid off. The other time he got murdered. Whew. Man, he threw away he threw away eight planes. He got nine one time, but then the other time he only got six, I think. I don't know. He got murdered. <laughs> Crazy. Damn. I'm gonna change his name. He's gonna be Biscuit Pops. <laughs> Call him Pops Biscuit. That's crazy. He was going for the big biscuits. All right. Nadira Washington. I hope I said that right. How you doing? Good morning to you and welcome to the chat. Thanks for tuning in. LL is scary, Kel says. <laughs> You're right. It is scary. It's scary. You can lose a lot of money. Damn. I like where she went with that. <laughs> it's money scary. Yes, it is. All right. We are officially $200 down. Don't forget tonight's Mega Millions 494. That's right. Thanks, Slinger. I don't have tickets for tonight. My tickets were for Tuesday, I think. Whenever it was, I think it was Tuesday or Monday. I think it might have been Monday. I don't even remember, but they're definitely they weren't winners. Got to get me some tickets tonight. I'll get them when I leave the store. I leave out of there at eight. I think you can buy tickets up till ten. I I'll get them around eight twenty when I leave the store. Hit my speedy gas station in Newcastle, Delaware. All right, let's just take a couple spins. Let's just see what's going on. Test the waters. Yeah, that's what's scary about this game. The money goes fast. We had a nice bonus round yesterday on Living Large. Yes, we did. Money showed up twice. A $600 bonus spin without a retrigger. Hmm, that was pretty cool. Mostly boats and hoes and money stacks. Was very nice, but unfortunately not still not good enough to land this nearly into the profit zone with that damn slot machine game they had there. I was playing very carelessly. If you ever want to know on not on how not to play slot machines and skills, peep at that live stream for me yesterday. Watch poor Pops what Pops is doing. <laughs> if they would have they would have paid us out the money when he got the uh, major, he would have walked away a thousand dollars ahead at least, maybe more. 
Yeah, he would a lot more. That's right. He would have walked away about fifteen hundred ahead instead of breaking even. That's how much it, an hour can change a difference. Two dollar spins living large. Bye, Jess. Bam. Jess saying goodbye. Yes, that's right, Austin. We nailed we nailed champagne yesterday. I wasn't going back to that machine. We got $160. And I cashed out that $200, too. That's right. I would have only got $600 yesterday if it wasn't for Austin bringing me back for the half-back planes, I remember. Yeah. And planes let us right in the champagne just spins later. I believe that living large is a scary game after diamonds hit. After this game gives you diamonds, I think it's a scary game. All right. I said we're going to give Peter, Peter the pecker, the pecker pepper, a chance. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Natasha coming into the chat saying good morning to everybody. Good early Friday morning. As I am going to be closing out the live stream as soon as Rich comes in. It's fortune, we do not have another chase. Today we are just messing around with some scary games. But this ain't scary, but we're going to go. Peter's been patient. Peter the Pepper Pecker has been patient. Good morning, David O. We are not winning, no. We are down $300. Yes, we are. I guess everybody must be cleaning up on machine zero. Let's try a couple $2 spins. So that's about $617 money bags on a max bet. That doesn't look too appealing to me. Peter, your, your game's not looking too good, Peter. Honestly, Peter's game hasn't been looking good for a couple weeks now. Every game has its time. Good morning, Zach. more two dollar spins i was going to switch but i said hey, let's finish up on two dollars back to back skulls what does lucky call them ghostbusters that's a good name lucky that is a very very good name for these little scully ghostbuster things very good we got a pepper bonus size yo you're up pete <laughs> yes you are bam it's not max guys but we do have a two dollar pepper bonus and there he is peter the pepper pecker, yes. Come on, Peter. 768, not too bad on two dollars now. Woo. 
528. Pepper, keep on going, Pete. Keep it going, Peter. <laughs> oh, you know, what does it look like for a grown man playing around with a slot machine with a Peter Pepper Pecker? Oh my God. <laughs> People are eating breakfast. <laughs> oh, if I just had someone behind me filming me, that would be, that, that would be hilarious. Yes, the lotto gig won some money last night. Living large, right? Who was the, who was the sponsors again that, that sponsored that? Was that Jess? Jess? Was it Jess and Hooser doing max bets on living large? Yes, that was good. I'm glad I got a peep at that. But I didn't get I didn't get a peep at how he got the money though. I call I got in the stream right after he was up. I didn't see what he got. What he, I guess he built some type of car. Not a whole car, but I, I'm just assuming he got something nice. Kelly saying, come on, Peter. Yes, James, I'm playing a slot machine with a pecker in my hand. I guess then it would be a pecker in each hand. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, come on now. Give us a redemption bonus. Double up drunk. Hey, Kenny is in the chat. Good morning, Kenny. Keep your hands where we can see them. And we are we are playing a, the Peter's Pecker Pepper game. So, yeah, I guess since we're talking about the Peckers, we better keep our hands where we can see them. We're supposed to be playing scary games. But the scary games don't seem to be too scary. As we are going to officially retire out these uh, non-scary amigos. And we're going to go back to some graveyard gold. That's right. Happy Friday morning to Kenny the Lotto King. You know what, Kelsa? We're going to go with that. It's not super scary, but you know what? You got skulls. You got pirates. There can be something a little bit scary about that. Why the hell not? Throw you back about 400 years ago. Dealing with the scary pirates. And the skeletons in the bottom of the ship. I guess there would be something a little scary about that. Let's check our puzzles. Four dollar max bet on pirates. She's not she's not looking too scary at all though. We got a bonus wheel. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Five hundred times looks real scary to me. Come on now. Woohoo. Zach saying, where your 94 year old pop, Sammy Bull, oh, he, he's probably still in bed. He, don't come, he comes down early though. He's probably, he'll be down by nine o'clock. I'll be at work. I gotta go to my store in Newcastle, Delaware today. And I'm sure pop will sneak on out to his BP gas station and do some moving and grooving again. He's a hard skiller, man. Harder than me. Come on, first spin on the wheel, guys. This is a max bet pirate wheel. Come on. Oh, give me that 200. Hmm. One time on max, I landed a 150. Never got the 200. Not on max. Got it on a $2. We're getting some fives. Oh, we can get that 500 right now. I think that is the max, right? Is that is that the max? We get a 500 right now, and we hit for 1,040. I think that is the max payout. Come on now, or 2,040, my bad. Come on, show us that 500, that's not gonna happen. 
Oh, that sucks. Got my scary hot chocolate. All right, that was only a 10x win. Definitely nothing scary about that. Yeah, I might check out Voodoo again. Didn't do nothing. Back on out of there again. Lucky Star asking for some fruit. I am lucky. I don't know if there's anything scary about fruit. I mean, can we even, can we, do we even have a case that the worm is scary? I don't know. Have to ask the chat about that one. Is there anything scary about fruit? Does anything, is anybody, can anybody come up with anything scary about fruit, guys? Talk to me. I think the worm has a smiley face with a little white beard, don't he? I don't know if he's scary. Might be able to make a case for that. Where are the golden apples? I honestly don't know. I don't think they're that good. I'll tell you what we can do on machine four. Nothing scary about that. 470. Where do golden apples start at? Three. When they hit, they go back down to four or go back down to three? Good morning. Chill out. What's going on? When the wicked witch gave Snow White the poison apple, that was a little scary when I was a kid. Oh man, listen to chill out. He made the case, baby. Yes, he did. He just showed what can be scary with fruit. I am loving it. That was a little scary. We got a, we do have a max bet. Graveyard gold, a GG bonus round. Come on now. But we do have a case with the Snow White Apple. Yeah. How about a pumpkin patch? Let's get a scary pumpkin patch. Come on now. Oh no, what are you gonna do? $48 holla. They just took our pumpkin patch right from us. Yes, Zach. We were on beast too. And we did get a couple bat bonuses. Yes, we did. A little while ago. Just a couple backup spins. Maybe we will try some scary apple fruit. We got another bonus round. Oh, it's a redemption. This is a redemption GG bonus round on a max bet. Ooh, I want a pumpkin patch. Right off the get-go. Come on now. Oh, no. It's the best multiplier anyway. $56 slam. Oh, we got multipliers coming out now, but they adding up. 48 and 56 within spins. Did you see in the chat, I said I call them Ghostbusters? Yeah, I heard you call them Ghostbusters. I like that name. The Amigo Skull. The 5X. The 5X little skull. Lucky calling them the Ghostbusters. 
Very, very, very nice. Good morning, Robert. Yeah, what's up, Robert? Good early Friday morning as we are attempting to play some scary games. And everybody, well, a couple people are making the case on scary fruit. Snow White taking the apple from the Wicked Witch. I don't know if they considered her the Wicked Witch. What did they consider her? But that was a little scary there. It was Chill Out. Chill Out is the one that made a good case for that. Three more spins here on GG. He's a little scary. As the candy corns keep on growing. Uh, take our bats or whatever you want to call them. Oh, I knew I was gonna say gross ghosts, but we got our broomsticks Kel saying I've been up since 430 I was up at 530 I don't really know how scary this is. If it's real cloudy where I'm at, guys. It looks like big rain coming. We're going to try fruit on a max pet. Again, the golden apple's not high here. I think they're a little higher. They're a little bit higher than the other machine, but that's not high. Oh, that's not a bad start, though. Bam! Max bet scary fruit bonus spins. That's right. Cherries and blueberries, Kels. Let's see it. Come on now, three more spins to go, add to the 72. Good morning to Larry Hogan, yeah, what's going on Larry? And good morning, if somebody see Low Roller in here, oh, good morning Low Roller if he's here, and Chad Murphy, good morning Chad. Skib Lucci Real, yeah. Good morning. Try a couple backup spins. We got that bonus round rather fast anyway. Little $80 bonus round. They're making a case for the scary apple or for Snow White being a little bit scary. I guess she was sleeping when you were a kid. You didn't know if she was going to wake up. I guess that might have been a little scary if you were a Snow White fan, right? Double up with our money back watermelons. Yes, that was a 20x bonus round. So that's not too bad. Hello. Hey, what's up, Happy? How you doing? Good. Come on, fruit. We got 66 people viewing with 59 thumbs up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, guys. Double up on the top with our scary Snow White apples. You 
going back to BP gas station to chase Big Jackpot and Reaper for a bigger jackpot. I don't go to BP gas station that much. I've done a couple of, a couple of live streams there. I don't even know what's there big because I don't go there that often. That's Pop's place. That place will murder you sometimes though. big question is, do I even attempt to go back to that smoke shop? Huh? Pulling that we don't have the money routine. Yeah, so I don't know. No. In for 400. Yeah, I know. Well, we just got on this one. Oh, what am I doing? I don't mean to hit help. Hey, <laughs> Abby said change the game and make money. <laughs> He's going to change the game and make some money. Happy likes beasts. We got a bonus round on a max bet. That's, maybe we didn't change it. Let's see what happens. Here's our scary worm, guys. Let's see how scary he is. He don't look too scary. I'm liking that 34X, though. I'll tell you that. Come on, now. Stay away from the sex. Come on. Stay away from that sex. Oh, don't do it. Don't you do it. Get down here. Wouldn't that be nice to get that 34, guys? Oh, I thought it was going to it, too. Hmm. Let's take the worm apple. Better than the six. And that's how fast $40 goes back. That's $20 lemons. How about some cherries? That's a double up. I had a scary worm once, then I got old. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> you want to try, Kels wants to try $2. Let's see here. Let's try some $2 spins on scary fruit. There's oranges in the middle there. A double double. Thank you, Lucky O, saying let's get them thumbers up. Yeah, as we got 70 people viewing with 63 thumbs up and oranges laying down the center row. Two dollars looking a little bit better here with some oranges popping out. Double up on the right side. Double up on the top side. Pretty, being pretty chintzy though with these bonuses, I will say.
We got cherries, guys. Yes, we do. Rapid power spin, and then we land cherries in the center. Fruit is not scary anymore. <laughs> Lucky, I think you called it. We got to do a couple backup spins just in case cherries want to come out again. Bam, let's take that 50 and run. <laughs> Lucky Star came in and said, man, fruit is not scary anymore. Get that the hell off the board. Now we know that these beasts can definitely be scary. And we do got Wolfies over 700. How many of you said you ever lose it? No. Never. How you, man? Oh, give me a second here. I didn't have to put money in yet, but it was starting to get down low. It was. I didn't even have to. We had $40 there. Now the machine's playing around and don't want the money. Oh, Larry. Oh, no, 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 no. I had a cherry once. Lucky. You should cash out 500 bucks and 300 bucks in nudge game yesterday. Then put, yeah. Low roller, you know what? You're right. I saw that. When I was at 579, I should have cashed out the five and reloaded. I, well, I should have. But you know what? There was a re I remember saying that. Because they weren't paying out, I didn't. But at least it would have piled onto the tickets. It would have slowed the, bit, the spinning down. Now, you are right, low roller. I, if I would have cashed out the 500, I would have, I would have had 1,300 in tickets. And it would have slowed the roll. I don't know how much more I would have played. But instead of playing the whole 579 down, I might have only played three or 400 more. It might have landed me 200 hours less than I lost. That is a good call, low roller. As we do some beasts here. I know how I play and, I, and cashing that ticket, even though they weren't paying out at the time, we did get the money. It definitely would have slowed me up. Because of why I wasn't hitting, slowing me up would have benefited. Slowing Pops up wouldn't have benefited. He was killing King Kong. He was beating King Kong up even with his cane. <laughs> he was beating the shit. A couple times I had to turn around and be like, whoa, all right, all right now. I was getting scared because he was literally hitting that. He was hitting the spin button and the bottom of the machine with the cane and kicking it with his foot. He was beating the shit out of it. Let's just plain that. Plain and simple. He was beating that nudge machine up. Ooh, I thought we had a bonus. Tony saying, did you ever see anyone walk in the store? I think the whole thing was a scam. Did you even see anybody walk in the store? Yeah, that's a good, well, when I first got there, Tony, when I got the Gatorade, okay? It's two brothers that own that store, Bob and somebody. I don't know the other name. Kevin was there. He knows both brothers. And one of them was there when I got that Gatorade because he came back and gave my... Remember, I, get, I, I put $10 on the counter because I said, oh, well, here, we got to pay for the drink because I don't go there much. And I put $10 on the counter when I went back. Just not even a couple seconds later, he walked back and gave me the $10. That wasn't the regular guy. That was, the, uh, that was one of the brother owners. But then he rolled out of there. Like, moments after that, he rolled out. Then by the time... You know, another hour, whatever goes by, we print tickets. There's no money, you know. I don't know, though. It could have been a scam. I, I think maybe. I think because he, he walked over several times and looked at the credits in Pop's machine. And because of that, that's why he wasn't paying out the tickets. Because I remember first when I brought them skill tickets over, remember? I, when I brought the skill tickets over, he goes, oh, yeah, he likely he was going to cash them. But then he, he changed up and went, no, wait a little bit more. Hmm. So you got to just keep your eyes open, man. I would say it was a 
I would say about 60-65%. It was a scam. It was a scam. But I was losing anyway, so. Pop, though, that's a scam on Pop because he would have, we could have rolled out of there a little earlier. He would have won over a thousand easy. He still didn't lose, but he should have won. You should, win, you should win when you beat King Kong's ass. When you whoop his ass like that, and he did whoop his ass. I mean, King Kong is woken up. He's waking up sore as shit this morning. And you better believe it. So Pop should have won. He should have at least next thousand dollars in his wallet for whipping King Kong's tushy. All right, I think we're gonna switch up. We're gonna we got, we're gonna be wrapping this up when Richie Rich gets here. Do I have a time check, low roller? Is it really 8.06 already? Where is Richie Rich? Damn. Yeah, Rich. Richie Rich supposed to, supposed to be here. And you know what? He's got to come in because he has a big shirt order done. 20 shirts, I believe it is. He's got one order that's picking up today at 3 o'clock with 20 airbrush shirts. And it's like, I think it might be $40 worth of work on each one of them. I don't know. Because it's 20 shirts, it's a lot of money. Hmm. We're going to continue with some scary games, guys. Thank you very much on this Friday early morning with 76 people watching. 63 thumbs up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try some $2 spins here on Reapers. John is not in yet. Double up on the bottom. What weird, what, what's I'm weird about with Rich, I did talk to him before I came in here. He was up. But he usually texts me when he's on the L, what stop he's at. I didn't get one stop. I didn't get one text from little Richie Rich yet. Good morning, Tina Miller. Thank you for the good luck. Unfortunately, we are not winning. Hey, we got Kenny Lotto King hands. That's what Lucky says. <laughs> are they really Kenny's hands? Damn. That is some messed up hands. Taking some $2 Reaper spins. This game's scary. That's a three-way hit with the mummy hands, zombie hands. How's Eric? Been. How's Eric's luck been? You know, I haven't talked to him. So, well, he had, put it this way. It's not good, because I can tell you right now, if he's hitting anything big, I'm getting pictures and I'm getting texts sent to me. Oh, I just did this. Or I just hit that. And because I didn't get nothing this week, and I think he's been very busy at the other shop, I don't think that, uh, I don't think he's been that lucky at all this week. I haven't been that lucky except for the potions on Wednesday. We got an RIP bonus, guys, and it's on a max bet. Let me hear you. 
Let's get these scary exploding skulls. You gotta be kidding me. Am I betting 40 cents? Guys, what am I? Oh, I'm on $2. All right. All right, I saw that. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I really thought I hit 40 cents by accident. I'm not used to $1.79 skulls. That's scary. Well, we got them all, guys. $44 hit on a $2 bet. That is a 22x win. You heard Brian Skillman is in Hawaii. No, I did not hear that, low roller. He's in Hawaii? Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's hope that Brian Skillman stays safe on his travels in Hawaii. I miss the guy. I miss the guy's videos. I do. But I understand where he's at right now in his life. Young 25-year-old, I believe it is. Married. I don't know. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Maybe. I'm not saying nothing. There's no rumors. Maybe baby on the way. I don't know. Just saying there's some rumors going around that I'm not spreading though. You didn't hear it from me. It's what I heard. And I don't know the reliable source. So I'm just saying. Hmm. Don't go going crazy now. But it's possible. Has anybody heard that? Hasn't been official, so I didn't congratulate him yet because I don't know if it's true. But let's hope he's safe down in Hawaii. Boy, that's a long honeymoon he's on, huh? What is it? A six month honeymoon? Let's refresh this chat. Brian wife plays skill games too. Does she? Then why ain't he videotaping that? If she plays skill games too, do you think he'd have he'd have all that content coming out? I don't know. How do you even know that, low roller? Hmm. What's your sources? Good morning, Chris Welsh. He's spending that skill money wisely. I don't know. Maybe Brian's doing better on his uh, investments, his crypto, his crypto investments. I don't know how good crypto still ain't doing that good. Not now. He, I think he made out better when he was doing it over a year ago, though. We're going to go to Reaper's on a max bet, guys. I want to take a look at what an RIP max bet is going to look like. Crypto will come back next year. Well, that's not anybody holding it right now or getting into it right now. Now the hot chocolate's perfect, guys. Still nice and warmy hot. Reapers on a max bet. That's right, RBS. Damn right. You watch it happen too, Tony. You watch. You watch it. I, I bet you. You watch it. Not just crypto, Tony. Everything's going to come back strong. Watch. And then, they're and then everybody's going to be pointing fingers again. The fingers are going to start pointing. The economy, trade, crypto, ev the dollar, everything's going to come back stronger and bigger than ever. And they're going to start pointing fingers. And there we go. We're going to have COVID-5 again. COVID-5 is going to be introduced. And it'll all be his fault. Please, don't even get me started. You know that. Everything's his fault. Two years in, it's still his fault, they're saying. Get the hell out of here. 
you're gonna have to come back and fix up another mess. That's what bosses do, man. Bosses with big fucking cojones. That's what they do. They come in and they clean up everybody's mess and they leave all everything nice and tough and shiny for the next guy. And then when shit gets all screwed up again, they come back and boss it down and clean it up again. Shit's crazy. All right. <laughs> Tony. Damn, look at Reapers, man. Reapers doing a little butt, bit of butt kicking here. Double up. That's right, Tina. R.I.P. I want to know where Richie Rich is at, though. Damn. He's usually here getting his coffee by now. Well, one day he overslept and didn't come in at all. Now, he was up. I talked to him even before I came live, guys. I talked to Rich when I was in the car before I walked in here. He was up. He's probably in the middle of the mass transit craziness that you got to deal with when you're taking a SEPTA in the city. All right. I and Because of that big order, it ain't like I, I can't risk roll out of here. I need him. I got to take him with me. <laughs> no matter what. There's a 20 shirt order with a 3 o'clock deadline attached. It is done. At least I hope it's done. He told me it was done. One more hundred here. Then I'm going to build a 3X car. Get, get rich and go home. Larry Hogan said, this time Trump knows who the swamp really is. That's right. Hey, we all know who the swamp really is now. That's another good thing. Everybody's eyes are open. Everybody's watching. Everybody knows everybody's dirt. And then there's a whole bunch of dirt we still don't know. But our eyes are open. Can't see much when the eyes are closed. There is our max bet. Oh, what is that? Reapers, RIP bonus on a max bet. Let me hear you. On the train. I just got a text from Rich. On the train. Well, damn, it's about time he should be here. He, You know why? He comes here so much, I make him wait. I make him wait so much, he's figuring, uh, let me get my shit done and get here by 8.30. That's what he's thinking. Poor guy. Here we go. Show us the money. Not too bad. Show us bigger. We got 13 and 15 dollar skulls. Take this guy. I don't like that one. 18 dollar skull. I'm gonna call, we have a shot for a 140. A 160. Back to a 140. Now I think it is gonna be 160, maybe 180. 60, 160 possibly. Yeah, Dan, don't tell me I ain't good. I ain't, you know I ain't adding that shit up, too. <laughs> you know damn well I ain't holding no damn calculator and adding that shit up. That's just a lucky guess. And that was a, that was a pretty good RIP max bet. Not as good as the $300 one that Lucky had in her stream we did Wednesday or Tuesday. Tuesday. Where's all the scary guys like this one? And this one. $20 zombie hands. There's that positive attitude, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God, lucky. Oh, did you freak out when it was 300? Yeah, that was a nice one. It was a nice little RIP 300 hour slam. We needed that because that's what landed us in the profit zone. Bastard bats, right? That's what they are. We got another RIP. We got another RIP bonus, guys, on Reaper's Wild, and yes, it's on a max bet. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Let's get a little creative with this one, guys. Let's go for them red blinking eyes. Oh, that's nice if I could hit them. Oh, maybe not. Did I screw that up? I guess I, guess I did. Hmm. All right, let's take this little $76 bonus, possibly. No, sixty-four dollar bonus. Are you going to sponsor Lotto King next? I don't know, I could. I like the sponsor I like the sponsor. Let's see here. I don't know. Does the Lotto King need a sponsor? He seems to be doing pretty good, right? What do we get? Oh, God, I'm looking for the Reaper. It's ghosts. I'm looking for him, and I know that bastard bat ain't matching him. I thought we caught Reapers. I could sponsor the Lotto King. I sponsored, I was in a couple, quite a few of them group polls that we won some money with Skillman. Especially when he was chasing Lady P last year, man. Ooh, we were having some nice hits. Speaking of Lady P, I don't remember, guys, when I hit the potions, I tell you that. We were wondering on this machine here, number four, why the golden chests weren't 1,500 hours no more. That's because when someone hit him on two dollars, that someone was me. I didn't even know it. I didn't know it until John was telling me about it. And I went back as of yesterday, or was it? No, as of Wednesday. I went back, that's, so it's 14 days ago, I hit those stupid uh, golden chests on two dollars. I didn't even remember I did it. Dang, so John's got a good memory. Bastard backs with money back webs. We never got bonus spins yet. Oh, what timing is that? Now, where's the microphone, guys? I said we never got bonus spins and you saw it pop up. That's just insane. All right, I'm looking for our max payout. Show us the Reapers and show us them ghosts. Let me hear you. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is a bit this is a four dollar max bet. We only got three spins. We're gonna have to get a retrigger, guys. Two spin oh, we're definitely retriggering. Or hands. I knew it. Had to retrigger. Cause that was some crazy shit there. Come on now. Time to pay us off now. Oh, what a waste. Five spins to go. I got it. I 
In the last spin, finish it up hard. All right, at least we pulled out about 80 at least. Thank goodness. Larry Hogan, Sammy, sponsor low roller. Then we could have an eight cent bet beast marathon. No, if I sponsor low roller, it would be so we don't have an eight cent beast marathon. Right? We could have a max bet low roller marathon. That would be cool. I'd be down for that. He's got to go live, though. He's got he's to be live. Does he do live? Low roller, do you do lives? Or are you just recording? Good question. You can go live, you know, with 500 subs. You don't have to get the thousand. We got a redemption bonus, Ben. Let me hear you. We got to get low roller up to 500. How many subs you got, low roller? What's up with all these webs and all these low pay things here? Come on now. 524, low roller, you can go live. You can't get monetized, make any ad revenue yet, but you can go live, brother. We got three spins to go. I think we might get a retrigger. Oh, they're going to give us hands here, guys. Told you. And now they're going to screw us. <laughs> 48 dollar holla. Good morning to Adam Leaf. Yo, Sammy, what's up, bro? I see you up early skilling and chilling. Yep. Yeah. I've been up early waiting for Richie Rich so we can go to work. He's running late. I know what he's doing. He's going to come in here on time. So you don't have to sit here and wait an hour for me. We got $339 in the machine, guys. Finally, the machine is holding its own. But we are definitely well, 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 not, not in the profit zone. I'm in for at least 600, so that's only three. Maybe half my money back. I might even be in for seven. Didn't really count. It might even be eight. Oh, another bonus would be sweet right here. So what is get what is the story now that I'm hearing about Parks Casino trying to sue skills and why? Skill games getting lawsuit in PA since casino are upset about skill games. So they're gonna try and fight them to take away the skills. But they did then they already prove because it takes a certain level of skill that it's not considered a slot machine. That's why it's not taxed or regulated. So now they're going to try and change up on that, right? Well, I sure hope that the casinos don't win that one. They must be seeing a big chunk of their, their money, a big chunk of their money missing. And they're blaming it on the skills. <laughs> Hey, I, you got it. You get it. I see it. People are playing these machines everywhere. Just in Philadelphia alone. Are you kidding? They're also robbing the shit out of them, too. That's another thing. So they got a good... You know what? Skills can come back with a pretty good argument there. So you know what? We're losing, we're losing a huge piece of our profits just to theft. And I mean huge. We have 80 people viewing. And 68 thumbs up. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. If you want right now, back on out. Smash that like button if you haven't. Show your amazing love and support for this channel. Thank you very much. A double bone soup.
going to see if I can get it back to three, and I'm going to cash that ticket out. I should have cashed it when it was three. I had something in plan. Wasn't paying attention. I'm going to do down the two and up the three on this right now. What's the court date for Virginia, low roller? Yeah, I'm sure he knows. got $20 hands. November 1st. You guys, that was my lit, my mom who passed last year. That was her birthday. November 1st. That is All Saints Day. Day after Halloween. We can take that. Taking that two hundred hours, guys. Richie Rich will be here momentarily. Go back to my little session, my little area. Our little measly 200 hours. Yeah, I need at least triple that. I need triple that. I'm coming over here for a reason. This is machine two, guys. We have officially walked out on machine zero. I guess the scary games didn't want to pay out no scary money, but we salvaged 200. We small balled 200 hours back. Let's hope the Phillies win tonight. And you know how they got to win, guys? I'm going to tell you right now. I played baseball most of my whole young life. They got a small ball, them Braves. They got a small ball. They can't go going into pitcher duels and using the big muscle bats. It ain't going to happen against the Braves. If they try to go pitching duels and the big power bats, it's not going to happen. They're going to lose again. They got to play like they did on Tuesday when they won. They got to go ahead. They got to go. They got to man. They call it manufacture runs. Okay. They got to manufacture runs. They got to get guys on base. You got to take the balls, take the walks, steal the bases, sacrifice bunts, sacrifice flies, move guys around, get them in. It's the only way they're going to beat the Braves. Kels saying go Braves. Oh, Kels. They do got some nice scrappy young pitchers, though. And they got that guy, that left-handed batter, plays the outfield. Possible uh, Harris, is it? Possible rookie NL, NL rookie of the year. Yep, he might be. I think he is actually. He's going to probably get it. He's in it with three or four other dudes, and he's probably going to be the one that gets it. I forget what his first name is. Something Harris. Man, lucky. Please, like I tell everybody with the Cowboys, though, because every every time you talk to a Cowboys fan, they say we got all them rings. But you know what? Every single player on that team wasn't even alive the last time the Cowboys won a ring. Nobody on that team even knows what it's like to get a ring because none of them were born. It's been so damn long. Ask your grandkids. None of them were around. Nobody even knows. All these young kids don't know nothing about Cowboys winning Super Bowls. Uh, unless they go on Google. <laughs> and when the Cowboys were winning Super Bowls, they weren't beating people like Brady up in the Super Bowl. Nah, they were beating up on Jim Kelly and the busted up, uh, busted up Buffalo Bills. That was three times. They couldn't even do nothing. But it'll probably go down the way it always goes down. 
Dallas comes in the Philly and takes a game, and then later on in the year, Philly goes to Dallas and grabs it back. It's usually how it rolls. It all depends on where the money action is, guys. Football is all about the betting world now. We're going to try some $2 bets over here. Living large on a $2 bet. Still waiting for diamonds to come out. Oh, yeah. Well, you've been watching since you were 12, Lucky, so you know the Roger Stallbuck years, all of them. They, they were the good cowboys, though. Ed Two Tall Jones, right? I know the Cowboys. They were, they were, they were, they were, that's where they were really America's team, though. I ain't going to deny that. Ed Two Tall Jones. Look at all those block tipped field goal attempts that he got his hands on, too. He was, he was epic. So was good old number 12, Roger Stallbuck. He was good, too. But enough of them cowboys. Enough of them cowgirls. Gonna see if we can get lucky and make a little bit of noise here, and I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh oh, we're in some trouble here. Now, this game can turn it around in just one spin, guys. The question is is that one spin gonna turn around on a two dollar bet? Or is Living Large going to turn it around on that one spin, that one magical spin, on a four-hour max bet? Hmm. Thank you, guys. I appreciate this Friday morning live stream. You guys tuning in. We got 93, 93 people joined right now. 75 thumbs up. Smash that like button right now. Back on out. Smash the like button. Show your love and support for the channel. And we're going to go on living large. And we're going to go on a four-hour max bet. Let's do it to it right now. These, This is the end game. Can John's Aquarius Diner Machines possibly pull out one more jackpot? <laughs> Is it even possible? Come on, 3X. You didn't, you didn't check the next puzzle in $2 living large. Oh my goodness, low roller, low roller. Yo, man. Listen, man, listen, guys, listen. All right. And this is why, listen to me. And this is why when some people bitch and complain, and I'm going to be truthful, we're not going to say names. But this is why when some people bitch and complain about good old low roller. Okay. And this is why. I, I stand by his side, all right? I do not take away the wrench. This is why I support the guy, because the man stands up tall, head is on a swivel, and more importantly, most importantly, guys, look how he's got my back. $2 spin left behind, low roar caught it. And it's a 2X bonus. Damn. Come on, guys. 
We got to give that up the low roller right there. Yeah, he might be out of line once in a while. We know that. But come on now. This is a 2x bonus, and it's on a $2 bet. And it was left behind. Probably would have never seen it again. Wow. Looking for the first spin wonder. Kudos to low roller. Is that spoiler? Oh, man. I thought it was. <laughs> oh. Come on now. Last safe spin. Good old leads. Oh, I hope it's not a crappy, crappy two dollar. It's gonna be a crappy two dollar bonus because we left it behind. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna do, low roller? You tried. Thank you, Ziggy. Damn, that sucks. That sucks. That was only twenty dollars. You believe it? That should have been so much better. Yep, I checked it that time. We're going to take a couple extra backup $2 spins now. Look at all that mess. Look at all them planes. Sorry guys, hold on now, I'm just get myself situated. I would say Richie Rich is going to be walking in the building any minute. Just check him out of Texas real quick. 100 people watching, guys. We are going to check our puzzle like we did. Look at that. Look at that. $2 don't want to leave us for some reason. We got 100 people viewing right now on an early Friday morning. Holy moly. 100 people viewing in 79 thumbs up. Who's going to be number 80? Someone just was number 80. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome, Sauce. Thanks for tuning in this morning. I appreciate it. All right, we're going back to Max. I thought that was Richie Rich. I thought it was. We are going to move and groove, guys, on a Max bet, and we are going to go into the risk it for a biscuit phase. Time to put it on the line. $22 holla. $10. Come on now. I'm number 80. That was Lucas. Lucas Rossett. Yes. Thank you, Lucas. My man. Hello, Kaz is here. Hello, Kaz. Eric just sent me a text, Clubber Lang, saying, just waking up now. Oh, that's nice. I tried getting a hold of him. Kaz has a new phone, so she's back in action. Don't forget she has a YouTube channel, guys. Check her out with all her lovely shout-outs to everybody. I'm sure she'll tell you the story. Tina Miller with the Get Them Diamonds. Yep, they've been capped up. They, but they, they weren't set at 4,000. We got them the 4,000. They've been the 4,000 for now a couple months. So guess what? They could go at any time. Yes. Ice just got diamonds for uh, on dollar 20 here. I got diamonds not even two weeks ago on this machine. Machine two is next. Why do you think I'm sitting on it, guys? That's why I'm sitting on it. And I got a max bet because we got a good chance at that four grand. That's probably the best chance we got at anything in here. But I wanted to play scary games. 
bonus spins on a max bet. Show us that champagne and show us the money and show it to us now. Boots and hoes, show us the cash. $80 in the bank, guys. Six spins to go. Yeah, look at that, guys. Come on now. Boats and hoes and limos. Oh. Last spin. Oh, they dogged this. All right. 120, though. I actually thought it was going to be better. I was thinking more like 180. Thought another limos and boats is going to pop in the end. Instead, they dogged us with that mess. Kaz says, Sammy, I had to make this one other this one other playing up and keeping both the others being naughty. I got you. Hello, Jackson. Jackson saying, woof. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a better round. That's still 120 bucks. But on this game, you got to show me more like the 180 to 3 as we buffered for a second. Hmm, what's heating up? Kels throwing up the 3x emoji. There's a three way hit. We got boats and hoes and limos, guys, with crappy planes. Yeah. Little $42 slam. As Stacy is in the building. Yes, Stacy's here saying hi to everybody. Good morning, Stacy. You're just in time for when Richie Rich comes walking in that door any minute. Because we are leaving. <laughs> but we played scary games today, a lot of them. And a lot of them got the best of us. But we were able to recoup 200, cashed it out, and then we already dumped it in living large. Come on now, show us that little 2 or 3x bonus. Boats and hoes and limos on the top row again. That's right, how are you feeling, Stacy? How is your tooth? Everything cool? Richie Rich, hello. Richie Rich will be coming in any minute. You know, I don't know if John, I don't know if John and Mary are in. I mean, Mary's in. But Mary is here. Where's the progressives? Hmm. They're all hit. That's where they're at in, here, in this location. <laughs> they're all hit, guys. You know, there's a couple, a couple scattered ones that are okay. The best one I say right now is the four thousand dollar diamonds. And that is a hell that with this is a hell of a chase, guys. Hell of a chase. But they've been sitting up there a couple months now. And I believe it, you know. Definitely could be time. Looking to land that 3x on a max bet. Come on now.
Look at that, guys. Doing it Jess style. I know Jess probably isn't in the chat no more, and if she is, Jess, say something, because that was your style right there. Guys, this is Living Large coming live from the Aquarius Diner on this Friday morning. What is it, close to 8.30? Sammy the Bulls thanking all 103 of you guys watching as we go to Living Large on a max bet. And yes, we got a 3X bonus. What's going on, John? Good morning, everybody. Uh, Good morning, John's here just Good in morning, time. Good morning, everybody. Good We're morning. We're getting our asses there beat. Yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for Rich. He's late. <laughs> Good morning, John. Motor City Base is on. We're not playing games, ladies and gentlemen. No, we're not. This is revenge, and it's hardcore style. Looking for the first spin wonder. Come on now. There's no joking around. Of course, we're getting paint and rims. Come on. Looking for the miracle on spin three. Looking for the miracle. Yeah, tent's going to land. Yeah. $324. First spin on round two. Show me the magic. Oh, don't show it to me. <laughs> oh, was trying. Yeah. 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 A nice little 326 mini boom there. Thank God for a tint, a little bit of tint music. A little bit of tint music. Down the 400 or up the five. And I believe it's a cash out. There goes my text too of Richie Rich getting off the train, I believe. Hmm. It would have been nice to get spoiler. Yep. Well, hey, it's a quick little four hundred hour recoup. Four hundred hour recoup. It's better than we were in just five short minutes ago. For Jackson, Lucky O. Anybody, guys, gotta check out Lucky O's sponsored live streams that have been going on. We're probably gonna be sponsoring another one of her live streams very, 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 very soon. Probably, maybe even this week. So, got to tune in to some of Lucky O's live streams. There's going to be a lot of, lot, a lot of music and action going on as we're going to go moving and grooving. We're going to see if we can get Lucky O to build a 3X car. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm shooting for. What do you think, Lucky? Yeah. We're going to see if we can get Lucky to build us a 3X car. And maybe on a max bet. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think, Lucky? All right, let's cash on out this ticket. Richie Rich will be here in about one minute. Unfortunately, we still did not land in the profit zone, but we got some back. I'm hitting the button too much. There we go. 400 back. I believe I'm in for eight. You guys probably know better than me. Uh, let me see. The first stack of 20s was six. Took a couple hundreds. Actually, I think I'm in for a thousand. Wow. I think I'm in for a thousand. 
but there was a 200 hour ticket there was this i still think we lost four so what are you going to do thank you everybody i appreciate all 100 of you bam thank you very much Kathy K, I appreciate it. Stacy, RBS, Tony, what's going on? Low roller. Thanks for the 2X save, low roller. It didn't pan out for us. But that just shows me and everybody else what time it is when low roller steps on in. He's got his head on a swivel, pulls the big boy pants up, and keeps his eyes open. Not, not some of the times, all of the times. Yeah, low roller. And low roller, you deserve a big yeah thanks guys kaz good luck good luck with your phone everything going on prayers out to austin prayers going out i see you luis hello luis i see you stacy yes peter says hi anybody else i missed i apologize slinger goodbye Yes, we needed nitrous slinger. You're damn right we did, but we didn't get it. Damn, this thing is still sitting here from where it was. That thing has been sitting here since Wednesday. Look at that. That's pretty good, man. My charge has been... I wasn't even on it. I didn't even put it there. It's pretty good. We're going to tuck it back here now. I'm impressed that no one took it. Oh, peace, love. Be safe, everybody. Watch each other's back. Be blessed and stay blessed. And SB7. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Say goodbye, Peter. Peter the Pecker Pepper. See you later, guys. Love yous.